Okay, so this is how to ollie. Uh, this is gonna, just going to be a short tutorial explaining all the steps that you need to know and how to do it. So first you need a board, obviously. Uh, next is foot position. Your front foot should be somewhere uh, between the middle of the board and the front bolts. Not the whole way up here because you want to have room to slide your foot. Not the whole way back here, just somewhere in the middle and somewhere in between. And then there's your back foot. It should be somewhere in this pocket. Uh, this is what's gonna give the board a good snap, which is gonna give it height to get off the ground. Uh, make sure you do not hold the board down with your foot. Have it perched on the tail, which would give it a good quick snap and allow the board to pop up nice and quick. Okay, so the way an ollie works is you simultaneously jump while popping the board and sliding your front foot up to the nose, which will level it out and bring it up all at the same time. So what you could do here is doing a practice step, which you have the board popped already and then sliding the front foot up, which will give you a good feel for it. And that's the good way to build up your muscle memory. Also, it's very important for the Ollie to keep your shoulders aligned with the board. This will prevent you from turning it 180. Okay, so right here is a stationary Ollie. Uh, as you can see, once you bend your knees to jump, you simultaneously pop the board down with a quick snap and slide your front foot up to raise the board up and level it out. Another important thing with the Ollie is uh, timing. Timing is very important. It might take a little bit for your body to understand how to do everything simultaneously. Keep most of your weight over your back foot and as you slide your front foot up, uh, you'll be able to distribute your weight more forward, which will level out the board. One thing that most Ollie tutorials don't tell you is that uh, what makes the board come off the ground is the pop of your back foot. Right here, I'm not even sliding my front foot up. I'm having a rocket Ollie, which is not what you want, but it's still getting the board off the ground. When you're first learning, grass is a good way to go. This is good if you're scared of concrete, but note that you won't get as much pop. One main problem that you can run into is the board not coming off the ground, such as this. Uh, this happens when you have too much weight over your front foot before you pop. Have most of your weight in the back foot and then kind of think of it as a seesaw motion where you have your weight in the back and then as you go up, you distribute your weight forward and level it out, kind of like a seesaw. The choppy kind of seesaw motion over time would start to look smoother and it would be more fluid. That's basically all there is for my short ollie tutorial. Uh, hopefully you can learn it pretty soon and practice it. So go out there and try some ollies.